Thank you, Eagles. And uh, thank you, Titans, the Eagles would say. Kevin Byard, a guy who, you know, was kind of unhappy with his contract, took a pay cut, but by all appearances wanted to stay with Tennessee. Traded to the Eagles for Terrell Edmonds, a 2024 fifth rounder and a 2024 sixth rounder. And, you know, we, we always give the Eagles the benefit of the doubt because every trade they make seems to work out pretty damn well. Every move they make seems to work out pretty damn well. The rich keep getting richer and the Eagles doing what they have to do to try to position themselves to go back to the Super Bowl and win it this time. Yeah, that's right. I mean, <clears throat> we know they got a, a, you know, one of the best built teams in all of football. I mean, there's no doubt about that. I think when you look at their football team, this was probably one th – not probably. This is the one position where you go, eh, I'm not sure here, right? You know, it, there's definitely some questions. Blankenship's a pretty good player. He's had injuries before. They got some young guys there, you know, that I think they're just not ready to put in the trust tree and banged up a, a little as well at the position. I think when you add all that, <clears throat> all that together, plus – Let's not forget in the offseason, right, <clears throat> Tennessee tried to get Kevin Bayard to take a pay cut. So I think they're, you know, kind of on the outs with him anyways, maybe in the process of, like you said, you said earlier, refurbishing, replenishing their football team here and worrying about that. And I think they looked at it and like, wait, he's not a part of our long-term future here, right? Uh, he's a good player. I don't know if we want to pay him more money going forward. And the Philadelphia Eagles had a real need here. And I think it's a, a great move by Philadelphia because the guy's still a really good football player. You know, is he all pro safety? Do I don't know about that, but he is damn good. Do you interpret this as a waving of the of the white flag by the Titans and a sign that if somebody wants Derrick Henry, they should make a call? There was reporting back in March that Henry possibly could be traded. He's in the last year of his contract. I, that was my first thought when I saw the Titans pull the trigger on getting rid of one of their better players. Are they in sell mode, and can Henry be had? I think so. I think they're in sell mode. You look at where they are right now as a football team, and you go, wait, they're 2-4, and four, right? Ryan Tannehill's hurt. Their offense has, it, it. we know, needs players, needs people. There's not enough there. You know, we could talk about Ryan Tannehill all we want here and all that. And I know he's no superstar, but there's not much else, right? We know that, you know, in prior years, draft and free agency, there's been some bad picks and some bad spending on money uh, by the old GM there. So, yeah, I think, I think Tennessee's in the kind of the mode of – we're not going to the Super Bowl this year. It'd be a miracle if we went in the playoffs, and I don't even think that's happening. And, yeah, I think they're going to be sellers here, uh, you know, this last week here before the trade deadline. One of the great unknowns is where the owner stands on the current organization. Yeah. Is the owner willing to do a little tear down? Is the owner all in with Mike Vrabel? She should be. Rand Carthon is still new on the job. And maybe it is kind of a strategic movement to lay the foundation for the future. They're most likely going to have a different quarterback next year than Ryan Tannehill, either Malik Willis or Will Levis. Willis has been a pleasant surprise in his second year. Levis was the guy they moved up to draft in round two because they weren't sold on Willis. That's for next year. And so maybe you kind of rebuild, reconfigure. If you can get value for Derrick Henry, maybe you do it. Maybe you do it. Maybe one of these contenders – decides and remember we got one more week of games and there are no buys in week eight everybody's playing so you got to get through the game somebody may get injured somebody may win a game they were supposed to lose lose a game they're supposed to win all of a sudden the window opens for a derrick henry trade between now and four o'clock eastern next tuesday so i'm watching the titans and i'm watching derrick henry or anybody else they have that they may want to move on from. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.